as beautiful as this place is with the sound of the birds singing we're going to be moving to a different location for breakfast the reason being is yesterday there was an osprey spotted not too far away so i'm going to try and park very near it and have my breakfast Okay, so we are there. That's a castle there. Now, I don't know whereabouts the osprey has been spotted. But obviously, you have got here, you've got the fallow deer, which will be part of the castle. I do like castles. If you like castles, let me know in the comments. Because I am thinking of creating another channel separate to this one for castles and historical interest places. We have got a little stream here. I see a fish. I think. Nope, I see a leaf. We're doing well. Could we chuck this in and see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> We're going to take a walk down the road once we've had some breakfast. Uh, take Dora with me. Go. Take her from there. Well, it is a nice little peaceful place. If anything else. So over there, that's where the lake is. That's where the osprey has been spotted. And that's just too far away. With the 800 mil, yeah, I would be able to see him, but do you be able to be able to get any decent shots? No. says no. So sadly, no luck 
seen some goldfinches, some wrens, and some cormorants, and some egrets, along, along with the fallow deer, but no osprey. So we're going to get back into the car and go and uh, go to a place called Bowling Green. I think that's what it's called. Let's see what we see there. Yeah, I think there might, uh... Yeah. I think there's two. Yes. Oh, four. Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals that take us higher. Night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We wanna chase the night. Okay, so we find ourselves on the heath here. Uh, it's an RSPB heath. I can't remember what it was called. Something beginning with A. I'll let you down down below where it's to, just to see what we can see. 
who knows what we're going to see. There's only one way to find out. Get out there and see. So Dora says we should sit here and I think this is actually quite a nice place. We've got the conifers there, we've got the, the, the fern down there, you can see for quite a distance. The road's just about far enough away. So let's take a seat here. Now this could be interesting. Say keep to the path. Dora's obviously down here. I'll put her in the bed. Dora, bed. Dora, bed. Bed. Take care. Say keep to the path. It'll be fine. We hope. Stand there, you're gonna be in my way. It's horrible, isn't it? There's no shade out here for you. Go on. Go on, good girl. So I've been standing in this area for quite a while now. Nothing seems to be turning up. A couple of things have flew over the top. That's about it. We've had a chi uh, stone chat come and sit down for half a second and that was about it so we've seen the ponies so I'm gonna go back to the car it's 4 30 now by the time I get back to the car it'll be five o'clock and then I'm gonna go park up in I'm gonna do different than last night last night I took a seat and waited for the beaver to come to me which uh, it didn't come to me but um, at last hour I decided to take a walk down the river so tonight we're going to do it slightly different we are going to go lightweight I'm just going to take the monopod and the camera and some spare batteries and a drink it's getting heavy by the second and uh, I'm not going to worry about a drink for Dora she'll drink out of the river quite happily and she'll prefer that over tap water anyway uh, and uh, see how we do. So 
So this is a new Brinkshire Reserve. As you see, it has been flooded a few times. I can see a heron, I can see an egret. And this was where we first saw the beavers. This was the very first time I saw them. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm going to take some video of that, that egret there. As he's quite nice and close. Uh, heron's a little... Okay, scratch that. The egret decided to fly away. Uh, I think there's some Canada geese and gulls. And I'll have another look through that. Uh, various different gulls. I can see a blackback herring gull. And some probably jackdaw and crows. Duh. It looks all right. Let's see if we, what we can find. We'll have a look. Now this tree here, at least time last year, had the woodpecker chick in there. And I sat here and recorded him. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up the top. If I forget to put the link up the top, apologies. But um, it is the woodpecker. And it was that lovely in that tree there. the beautiful river well I say we are on the beautiful river the river's down there somewhere if you can see it you're better than me I've seen some lovely ducklings on it and a couple of swans as well um, didn't get the swans I got the ducklings for you okay. gonna walk slowly towards Otterton uh, there's a mile and a half or according to that sign there's a mile and a half and it's a quarter of a mile to where we part so it's a it's a bit of a long walk for me i'm hoping you can hear me over the wind i have got dora with me i've not got her on the lead i didn't bother bringing her lead that might be a good plan or well that might be a bad plan but she behaves herself anyway and uh yeah i don't really need to pick her up here we go let's go and have a look at this river might be lucky down here so along this part up until halfway I would say is wheelchair friendly um, it is a gravel path so be aware anyone pushing you needs the extra muscles to push you along the unfortunate thing about the people which are in the wheelchair just be aware that getting down to couple of my, um, house mines. Getting down to where the river is is going to be tricky for you. Looks like they're too attempting to stop the beavers from cutting down this tree. And that gives you an inclination of how big the trees can be. That is on the bigger side but it is plausible. But I'm sure that the beavers with their iron teeth would be able to get through that. I'm talking about their teeth, that's the reason that they are a nice orange colour, a beautiful orange colour. It's because they're mainly iron. Hard as iron. Urgh. As you can see on the other side of the river there, that is signs of the beavers. Now they do like this type of area, they like the river, but they like to be in a foresty area, so 
This is a bargain for him, obviously they need to be in a foresty area for the wood. So there may be, that might be what I would call a slide or somewhere that they get in and out. This isn't far from where we were yesterday when we seen the beaver. Now this is the side opposite the river or opposite the forest. I believe that's cricket. If you're into that, then that's up to you, but it does spoil the piece a little bit, but hey ho. There is some shell ducks, there is actually an egret flying in over there. No, that's a swan. Way too far away for me to get with this GoPro. But yeah, there's a couple of shell duck in there. Yeah, they're in there somewhere. Somewhere deep in that tree. Okay, so walked all the way to the bridge and walked all the way back, or we're starting to walk back now. I'm going to find a nice place to sit down here and uh, we're we'll waiting for them. Come. Come. Sure, come. Good girl. Ooh. Yeah, I'll find a nice place to sit down here because this seems to be the more popular area down here. Uh, kind of mixed signals from the locals. Some people say that they've been moved up upstream and some say that they don't get any action up the stream. It's all down here. They have, um, they're definitely active down here. 100% active down here. You can see, see they've been active very recently. So that's why I'm going to take a seat up this way. And have occasional looks here. Doors are going to be like you're supposed to check here. You checking for me? Yeah. I'm hoping my trail cam has got something. I'm not going to know until at least. Tomorrow afternoon, I suspect. just about to walk away and as I was walking away the beaver turned up just over there I'm hoping that they have come down this way
interesting isn't it how there are quite a few locals which do come down here to see them and I can't say I blame them but half of them say that they're never down here half of them say that they're always
sorry, I was rudely interrupted. Um, yeah, he was. Well, they were over there on the far end. But as I was saying, yeah, half the locals turn around and say, they're never, they're never down here. They're always at the other end. And then some of them say, oh, they're never up the other end. They're always down by the white bridge, which are the white bridges that over there. What it all comes down to is people don't realize that one, there's multiple of them, and two, there is changes. They go from one place to another. So, always be aware of that. Animals do change for some reason. You know, they change their location. But I think in the middle of this river, that's where their lodge is. That's where they sort of start and then they sort of move their way up and down. There might be a few lodges down here. I'm not sure. I would not be able to tell you. Uh, one, because I don't know, and two, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. Let me know in the comments what you feel about lodges and letting you know where the location is. Or where nests are and things like that. I think it comes on a species by species basis. Unfortunately, we live in a world where you cannot trust everyone.